welcome back to web api tutorials i am venkat this is part 3 what is web api before we get to know about the web api so let's see how we will build the traditional web applications so traditional web applications will have these components so the first thing is a database and the next one is a database layer database layer will help us to read data from the database and add data to the database and the next one is a business logic layer business logic layer so this business logic layer will be useful to apply business logics on top of the data read from the database once the business logic applied and the data is ready to be presented then we will present that using the ui layer okay so in traditional applications we used to build all these components as a single application for example let's take asp.net or mvc so in those two applications we will build like this so the final output of this way of building application is a html so if we use this approach we will get final html as output that will be rendered to the web client okay but there is a other way introduced after this that one is a this one so this is a db layer and similarly um, data base layer and the business logic layer and the ui layer okay but in current trend the way of building applications is completely different people have separated this component people have separated this component they are building it as a web api okay this is a middleware and this is a independent application so this will have the output as a html and this will have the separate output as a data okay so these two this ui component and this web api component these two are completely independent projects okay this ui can be built with mvc or angular or react or any other applications so which supports ui building parts so this ui project will be created with angular or react or mvc this middleware can be built with a web api so this is the part we are going to discuss now okay so the output of this web api is always the data the data can be xml or the data can be json so most of the times we will use the json output so if we want we also can get it in a xml format this is the web api and let's see why we need to make it as a middleware so what is the use of this middleware so in the next video we will see why web api for more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.